What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Welcome to another business video on the business channel. Today we're gonna be talking about just things that I think every beginner, I mean anyone in dropshipping should know, but particular or novices or newbies or just people new to dropshipping, right? And so that's what we're gonna talk about. I mean, th that's what we're gonna talk about, okay? So just a bunch of quick, quick little tips and stuff that I hope that you didn't know before that, that hopefully provide value and help change the game and dropshipping for you guys, which is what I'm here to do and make you guys, you know, like ha have your dropshipping stores just, just above everyone else's. And again, dropshipping is like the easiest industry to get into. So if you can beat out everyone else, then that puts you above everyone else, which usually gives you a larger market share and get you more money in the end okay so that's what the video is gonna be on today first thing I want to do is give a quick shout out to um, well actually everyone here oh let me change the camera uh, literally everyone in our private uh, course group, okay? Literally everyone's getting their first sales. I would show all the screenshots, but whatnot, but like even, you know, this guy at 2K, um, just everyone, like literally everyone's posting their first sales, like when they get them, and it's freaking crazy, bro. So that's the the little shout out, guys. Course discount, the uh, sh the Black Friday Cyber Monday discount is available for the next two days, three days? I don't know, uh, something like that, but it expires soon. It's like 65% off if you guys wanna hop in. If you don't, that's cool too, do you. I'm just trying to help. That's the video guys, let's get started. All right, so the first tip I wanna give you guys is you gotta be active on social media, at least with, with the funnel that I preach, okay? You need to have a presence on some type of social media. And for me personally, it's Instagram, all right? Like, as you can tell, I mean, I got the new shades, bro. I mean, not new shades, but the, the trendy basic as fuck shades. Basically guys, I like fashion, right? So I jumped into, fa a lot of my sites were based around selling fashion products, right? And when you're doing that, you gotta find a social like platform, social, a social media platform that that allows you to you know capitalize on whatever you're selling. Okay, and Instagram is such a visual platform that that's what I teach and help people with is building a funnel to get traffic on Instagram, drive them to your site, convert them on your site. Okay, while also building up your brand um, on your Instagram accounts to help you know, drive future organic sales, okay? And that, that's that's the funnel that you guys want, or at least that I teach and that, that works, right? Because it's just rinse and repeat. I've done that for every single one of my stores. When you're doing that, guys, you gotta have a presence on social media. A lot of you guys start up a dropshipping site and you wanna go straight to like paid ads or something like that, which you absolutely can do, but if you're just starting out and you don't know how to work ads, you don't know how to work paid ads or, you know, like define your custom audience. First of all, you probably don't even know who your audience is. Like you can, you can have an idea, but you won't really know until you see who's actually buying product, right? If you like, you, you can only guess until you actually have number. Like, Numbers speak, guys. You can't just guess who's gonna be interested in your product. For example, if I'm selling a ring or something, uh, like a men's ring, yeah, okay, I can say, okay, maybe men at between ages of you know 18 and 32 might buy this ring, so I'm gonna market it like that. And you can't do that, guys. Like, yeah, you'll 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 get some sort of attention, you'll get some sort of exposure or traction with those types of ads, but you don't really know the exact specifics of who the exact person, the exact demographic, the exact location, and like the the amount of like spending power they have, and all that all that information that's needed to actually capitalize and like lower your conversion costs so you can you know literally print money down the road but again if you're doing that like you need to be able to understand who your your, your buyer profile is or your customer profile is right and to be able to do that I drive traffic from Instagram while I have you know my Facebook pixel on my site running so I can later down the road create audiences specific to the people that already purchased and then scale up with that okay if that kind of makes sense uh, for a lot of you new people or new to dropshipping people what that essentially means is hey I buy shout outs on Instagram from big pages, I drive them to my website with my Facebook pixel on my website, and then later down the road, I scale. Okay, that, that, that's, that's layman's terms for that, okay? Now, tip, tip number two, okay? Have custom photos. A lot of people don't do this, and I've been preaching this for a while now if you're, if you're familiar with the channel, but literally, guys, that, that, I mean, what does that mean, right? It means you need to order product to your house or wherever you live, okay? And you need to get product get get pictures of that product taken okay whether that be you with the camera you make friends who are photographers you know photographer friends or you hire someone to take professional photos of your products okay because again drop shipping is the easiest industry to get into you can have twenty dollars thirty dollars and could be considered an entrepreneur just by starting a Shopify website, right? So literally, it's so easy to get into that everyone does it and when they import products, right, from AliExpress or wherever you're doing it, most people use the supplier the supplier images, okay? And a lot of times, they're, they're not good, okay? They're pixelated, they're, they're cheesy, they're crappy. It's just not good for marketing and for making a website. Don't get me wrong, on your website, it's okay to have pictures with white backgrounds. You often want that for most cases. And then I usually follow that up with, you know, lifestyle photos. Because again, dropshipping or anything in business really, especially on 
Instagram, guys. You're selling like a lifestyle or like a feeling. Like you want to procure some emotion from your customers, okay? And with that being said, like like, like because of that, right? You want custom photos that that are good quality and that 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 look good. Like like people go like, whoa, what is that product? Or whoa, that's a really cool photo. Okay, so you want people to to like pique their curiosity with these types of photos because that's how you're gonna be marketing, okay? Especially if you listen to my advice and build a funnel from Instagram to your website. Instagram, again, is such a visual platform. You need to be on a social media platform and you're gonna use those custom photos to drive traffic to your website to like differentiate your brand, your website, and all that kind of stuff just so you can convert more and not be seen as like just another dropshipping site, which is what most of you probably are, especially if you're just getting into it and you don't really know exactly what you're doing. You're just trying to get started, right? And I'm trying to help you guys out so that, boom, your site's just a little bit better than everyone else's, all right? Now, next point. This one, it, 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 it's, a, it's more of a long-term approach, but it's def it definitely plays off, guys, because this is what I did just right from the start. Is I'm trying, you, like, I'm trying to build a brand. Okay, you want to build a quality brand with with your site and your social media presence and whatnot. Okay, you don't want to just be seen as another reseller of you know uh, international goods right from China. Okay, that's not what you want to be seen as. Okay, like for me, for like for example, for my first store. I'll tell you guys how I branded it, okay? You might be like, oh, that's really fucking weird, but it converted, okay? And a lot of you guys who've been here from the start know that I was making 30,000 a month from that one website. Now, what you wanna do, or like what I did, right, is I branded my site as a curator of luxury goods, okay? I never said we made the products ourselves, I never said we branded it under our own name, okay? That's the first point that you guys should take into, take into heart, right? I never said these are our products. I said we're a curator of luxury, of affordable luxury goods. All right. Now, what did that mean? I sold fashion accessories that I branded as luxurious, right? Because I took my own photos. I had people taking photos of me too, and then I learned how to take my own photos because I wanted to do it myself and save more money. But I branded it as a curator of luxury goods, and because of that, we were able to, you know, have people not assume that hey, these aren't their products. I've seen it before. Like we curate products that we think are clientele. Again. It's all about branding, guys. Since we were a luxury company, we had to make everything seem better. Like we never called our customers customers; we called them clients. All right. We 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 refer to everyone as, as as our clients or something, our clientele. Everything, emails on our site, on our Instagram, all that kind of stuff. They refer to as clientele. Okay. Like we really we like everything goes into branding, guys. And that's what I want to show you, like explain to you guys, is that you need to brand your site. Okay. And on top of that, not were we only a luxurious good, but we had. We had a whole theme around our site, okay? We were like, I, I branded it as a gold mine of these luxury goods, right? And people were essentially mining for 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 deals or for you know for, for these for these products, okay? We even had a like a nugget of the day, like a gold nugget, right? We had a nugget of the day section where we'd literally give one stupid ridiculous discount where we made no money, but we did it every single day, a different product on our site, which one allowed us to send an email every single day to our email base without them getting annoyed because it was just an update on hey, this is the new product for the deal of the day. Right? Right? That was that, okay? So like we literally had one a reason to email them every day. Two, we branded it as like we, we were able to brand ourselves as an affordable, right, luxury discount dealer because not all our goods were like on sale, right? We had a nugget of the day, which is essentially a deal of the day that we sold super cheap, which allowed us to brand ourselves as affordable, okay? We also sold more expensive products on our site.